Mr. D, Nature Wildlife Photographer. Today, I'm going to give you an idea on how to take care of the Advanced Elements Straight Edge Kayak Inflation, Deflation, and Storage. If you'd like to see the full review of the Advanced Elements Straight Edge Kayak, I will put the link to that YouTube video below. After you've taken it out of the bag and unfolded it, you'll want to fill the main chambers first. It is always a good idea to have the Advanced Elements Pump, which has the PSI gauge and inflate and deflate system built into their pump. Once you have filled the two main chambers to no more than two and a half PSI, it is time to fill the floor. Now there is no spring valve in the floor, so you will have to estimate the one PSI. Now it's time to fill the forward and aft airbags to one PSI. Now these have spring valves, so your PSI gauge will work properly. Now it's time to install the seat. You will see two clips and straps, one on each side, and you clip them into the D-rings that are on the main air chambers. And you'll see two long Velcro strips to position the seat in your desired position. As you can see, it takes about five minutes to complete your kayak inflation and setup. Deflation and storage is not that difficult. But take note, give it time to dry out, either in your garage, your backyard, or whatever, before you pack it up and put it back in its bag. Having all the air chambers fully deflated is really important. If you have a two-way pump that has inflate and deflate, it's a good idea to go ahead and deflate it all the way down where it actually stops the pump. Then reset your spring valves to stop any air from going back in. First you're going to fold your boat longwise in half. You'll be folding your boat into thirds and then you want to compress it down where it's pretty flat before you place it into the bag. Now to put it into the bag, you want to start with one corner and kind of pull it up about a third of the way or half of the way up. Then go to the other end and do the same and then basically work it all the way in to where you get it to the bottom of the bag.
Squeeze the tops together to get the zippers to close, and there you have it. Really no problem at all.